And now, today, in Chevrolet's best tradition, the full-size Chevrolet lineup, extended, amplified, and spearheaded by the new Caprice models, represents the greatest value the automobile marketplace has ever offered. Now let's get specific about features and proof and product sell that you can use for your 1966 Chevrolets. First, that incomparable Chevrolet ride. Nobody in Chevrolet's class has matched it yet. Chevrolet's sturdy frame and full coil suspension give it a smooth, solid, road-hugging ride that none of the others can approach. Just look at the difference as a Chevrolet and a Ford come over this ride. The Ford's wheels go clear off the ground while the Chevrolets remain solidly planted on the road. That famous Chevrolet ride was never better. To prove it, show your customers the balanced coin demonstration. It's a real test of Chevrolet ride. Chevrolet not only rides better, it has a shorter turning diameter and quicker, more responsive steering. Try that with a Plymouth VIP. Inches difference gives Chevrolet a real advantage over Plymouth. Here's a test to demonstrate a Chevrolet quality advantage. Try it first on a Ford LTD. Now try it on a Caprice. That Caprice body is solid as a rock. Here's another demonstration, proving that Chevrolet quality is more than skin deep. Heavy, sound deadening insulation under the hood of the Caprice. None under the hood of the Ford LTD. None under the hood of the Plymouth VIP. Again, Caprice quality where it counts. Now another test. With sensitive sound metering equipment set up outside this Ford LTD and a microphone inside, we're going to try an experiment. With the door open, the sound level, as heard inside each of the three cars we'll be testing, is a little over 0.9. With the door closed, the sound level on this Ford LTD drops to 0.2. Next, the Plymouth VIP. With the door closed, the sound level again drops to 0.2. And now the Caprice. With the door closed, the sound level as heard inside the car drops to a trifle over 0.1. Nearly 90% of the outside noise has been sealed out by the extra soundproofing in the Caprice. Anybody can build a more powerful engine if he doesn't care how much gas it uses. But Chevrolet does care. Here's a test to give you the lowdown on fuel economy. Each car will use exactly one gallon of gasoline. Caprice with a 396 cubic inch engine, Ford with the 390, Plymouth with the 383. All three with automatic transmission. They will stay together, identical conditions, identical speeds, averaging 40 miles per hour. So watch those gas bottles and remember what you were told about that new 396 cubic inch engine in the Chevrolet. How its design was way out ahead of every other production engine being offered today. How it breathed deeper, had straighter passageways for both intake and exhaust to increase its efficiency. Now see what that means in fuel economy. That 
that's it for the Ford. There goes the flip. But the Chevrolet, with that new 396 cubic inch engine, is still rolling right along. For the Ford, it's 13.1 miles on a gallon. For the Plymouth, it's 13.6 miles. For the Chevrolet, it's 15.7. Two and one-tenth more than Plymouth. Two and six-tenths more than Ford. Chevrolet leadership gives you so many advantages. And one of the biggest is price. For instance, 53% of Caprice buyers used to buy these cars. Pontiac. Buick, Mercury, Oldsmobile. But people changed over to Caprice because they found they could get everything they wanted for literally hundreds of dollars less. Chevrolet brings you so many features, it's impossible to cover them all. Magic mirror finish, inner fender skirts, ball race steering, flush and dry rocker panels, double wall cowl, fork-type door locks, bonded brake linings, full-coil suspension, self-adjusting Safety Master brakes, and many more. One factor that sells cars is performance. And man, have you got performance this year. Especially with that 396 cubic inch turbojet engine. Match it against Ford's 390 cubic inch Thunderbird engine. And watch what happens. Look at the way the 396 moves out to an early lead and holds it right through the run. And don't forget that 396 turbojet is exactly the same engine that just trounced the Ford in economy. And now as a fitting climax, a 66 Impala Super Sport with a high performance 427 turbojet challenges some of the highest horsepowered cars on the road today. Buick Wildcat. Pontiac GTO and Grand Prix, Old Starfire, Ford LTD and Plymouth VIP. And here they go, Chevrolet leaving them all in the dust.